like 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 everything grown in the world, each region has its own characteristics. Well, they do, but also they have proprietary over these products, so they've developed them themselves. So no one else is allowed to, okay. to grow them. So hops are sort of pretty much owned. Uh, so the US has their own varieties. New Zealand does. The UK and Europe as well. And um, so it's very easy to get access to the, to those products because they come in a pelletized form, very easy to ship. And so you can replicate any beer style because of it. Um, hops is such a wonderful <laughs> uh, creative canvas to work with. Uh, yeah, It's and- been, yeah. I mean, all the conversations I've had, the that seems to be the key the key trigger or key element that it really defines the defines a lot of what 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 a beer becomes mm. the um and the amount of different the, the amount of differentiation across all the different i guess i'll call them skews but you can call them whatever you want is just unbelievable the 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 fact that something can be slightly slightly different and produces mm. a completely different end product yeah it does and also blending them that's a lot of fun too you know so I've got my own particular. Um, I, I really love um, uh, Galaxy and uh, Ella uh, as a combination hop. They're two Tasmanian grown hops, and they do produce that big fruity, citrusy, punchy uh, beers. And um, which, which are effectively, if, if uh, that that it's that sort of Pacific style. So I just love Stone and Wood. Pacific mm-hmm. Ale. It's very simple, very sessionable beer. It's got that big fruity taste. They use the Galaxy hops, and uh, so we're we're constantly developing new recipes, and we use a lot of those Australian hops. And people we, we spoke about before hazes and so on, but they love the big fruity beers. There, that's a that's a definitely a, a massive trend. And using combinations of wheat malt and barley malt. I don't know if we've gone off track on the conversation, but I, I was just yeah. It, I, I I think it's um yeah I think that trend's going to stay for a long time. Yeah, it's, cool. And something uniquely Australian, I believe. 